can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven foot three map star to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once. I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Bruce Lee, ladies and gentlemen, Bruce effing Lee, the man many of these fight fans have come out to see here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Now for the official introductions, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Dean, third man Ready, in the octagon fight. for this one. Ready. Go. Oh, well, this year, Eddie Hot Arena in Abu Dhabi is quickly becoming an established spot here on the UFC event calendar. We are back and feeling all of that energy and then some here tonight. I mean, it's beautiful. I remember taking a tour of it before it was ready. Dane and I went on a, a, a tour of Eddie Hot Arena, and it was everything that they promised. Beautiful venue, and they've had some tremendous fights for an event and for an arena that's been in existence for not long, big moments have already happened from Habib retiring to Islam Makhachev becoming the champion. This is starting to become a historic place for mixed martial arts fights. You're right, it has been a special week as usual leading up to a big UFC pay-per-view. Now the fighters need to stop focusing on the visuals and focus on the task at hand. Oh, damaging knee to the head. Slap yourself hard on the inside of your leg and tell me how that feels. I mean, it really hurts because that's the soft right. part of your leg. So you land that over and over again. Guy will have a very tough time maneuvering out of a lot of the techniques you go at. Nice technique on the sidekick. Big punch lands through the middle. Just missed with the leg kick. Oh, big body kick. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Everything works off of the jab. Doubles up on it there. Right, so he's dealing with some swelling upstairs, and you got to think his opponent is going to continue to attack that region. Well, he has to. He's starting to see now the work is being done. He's starting to see the benefits of the work with the swelling that's starting to occur. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He has certainly found his range on the feet. I mean, when you don't check, you're going to continue to get blasted with kicks. His opponent has not deterred him from keeping on throwing those kicks. Missed with that right hand. Quick jab. Beautiful leg kick lands. Missed with that attempt. Oh, double jab splits the guard. Big body kick. Oh, look at him snap off the jab. That's pretty to watch. Beautiful employment of the jab here. Under two minutes now to go. Now you 
see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following the game plan. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Please. Huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. punch to the head. All right, so a good series of kicks by him there. He has mixed it up beautifully, I think, on the feet tonight. He is kicking everywhere tonight. He's doing a fantastic job. Come on, push through it. Under a minute now to go in this one. Keep your head moving. All right, so he continues to land that patented jab and keeping his opponent at bay. You can know that it's coming. But until you're in there with the, the speed and the power of that jab is something you can't really prepare for. Rips the body there. All right, there it is. Yet another strike targeting that already bruised area on his body. Well, you can tell that he had a purpose to come out here, make an investment, and see how it would play out. It seems to be working right now. 15 seconds remain in the round. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. You ready? You ready? Do Second it. round underway. Well, there was a moment in that previous round when it looked like we weren't going to get to this next round. Here we are. We will see the extent to which he has recovered. Let's see how he recovered over the course of that minute. They were putting water over his head. They were trying to bring him back. But I would advise him to clinch a lot in the first minute of this round to try and give himself a little bit more time to get back into the fight. Kick lands, my favorite strike. Looking to land the right hand, he misses. Oh, the high kick lands. All right, so another stiff jab there. Really good use of that weapon, not unlike he did in the previous round. Slips the punch. Good job defensively to block that punch. When both are prepared, these are the types of fights that we expect. Lands a nice straight. Oh, a nice little right hook there. This pace is just absurd, and he has kept it up throughout the fight. Shades of Max Holloway against Calvin Cater, punches in punches. I mean, being there, watching Max Holloway do what he did was super impressive. So to even list this performance alongside that tells you how this guy is fighting tonight. Oh, that strike to the body, man. Just over three minutes to go. Oh, nasty cut there, right on the bridge of the nose. Let him go. Let those hands go. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Oh, what a kick! Well, he's looking for that left hand, just out of range, though, with it. Really finding the kicking range now. Another one lands there. 
So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly... This fight's gonna be over this What a great way of mixing up his attack. He did stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent. And now he's got hurt very badly. Just missed on the front kick there. All right, so an opportunity goes by the boards. He had him stunned, nearly finished, and now his opponent has recovered. His opponent recovered. Now he's got to be with everything that he's going to bring at him. He should have got the fight finished at that time. Under two minutes now to go in the round. So the blood really starting to flow. Every time that area gets targeted, that cut's getting worse. It's getting worse and worse, and you see the blood starting to come down. That is when you start to watch the fighter to see what type of effect it's starting to take on, whether or not he's reaching for it, whether or not he's confused by where it's at. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Oh, nice inside kick. Well, he is at his kickboxing best tonight. Another nice, good series of kicks by him there. I mean, the kicks are coming in bunches. Normally, it's the hands. Tonight, he's throwing kick after kick after kick. Oh, jabs in bunches here. Splits the guard there and continuing to keep his opponent at distance, courtesy of that crisp jab. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think... <laughs> Well, DC kind of just playing with him at this point, right? You think he's got to go in and just get him out of there. Well, he's trying, but he gets a little bit anxious. So he starts to throw a lot of punches and not the right punches. And because he's throwing so much, he keeps missing. And by doing that, he's missing chances to end this fight. 20 seconds to go round two. And there it is again. Targeting that swelling. Why would you not, right? You doled out all this damage. Might as go, might as well go right back to it. Well, especially if your opponent is not gonna move his head. He's still trying to go out on his shield. He's he's so stubborn in trying to prove that he's tough. It's really costing him right now. Oh, oh. Good round. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. Ready to fight? Ready. Third Good. round underway. Jab snaps the head back. He checked that last one. Very fast leg kick lands there. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Oh, nice. Nice. All right, so now his body language really starting to change and the bruises starting to accumulate on that side. I mean, you're looking at it, right? When you can visibly see the damage on the body, you know that the work has been done. What a beautiful game plan put together by this team. Just missed with the straight left hand. on his first test in elementary school. 
Oh, he got two spots. Posture's up. Oh, he lands a brutal strike to the head. Now he's going full mount. Mm, nice. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Leads right back to the full mount here. In the half guard. All right, north-south position now. We'll see who transitions first. We have crossed the midpoint of this one. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to start to add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack, not being one-dimensional, not headhunting inside the octagon. I, I think he has fought beautifully right now and is starting to show itself. Oh, flying knee to the head. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Just missed with that right hand. Oh, swelling and blood. You wonder if at some point that's going to impact the breathing. Not a good situation for him here. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Oh, how good is that? The diving punch lands flush to the head. Oh, another ground strike gets through. Dean steps in. What a fight. So how about that as he pounds him out for the TKO? Prioritize the finish tonight, absolutely gets it with style points. A huge, huge result here in this arena tonight. It's always fun to see an athlete tell you what they're going to do, and then they do it. This guy told us he was going to get a finish, and that's exactly what he did. Him and his team are going to have a fantastic time tonight celebrating. They should all be very proud. Here's Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 47 seconds of round number 3. Declaring the winner by TKO, Bruce the Dragon Lee! So the legend Bruce Lee does it again. That was a prime performance out of the martial arts legend tonight. This man, of course, has had no shortage of challengers since coming to the UFC.